Hi, we're going to show you around a portable, a new platform for converting iOS applications to Android. For some preliminaries, you need a Mac with Xcode installed and an Android device of some kind, like this Google Nexus 7. First, create an account with a portable to get your copy of the SDK. Go to the My Account page and copy the download link into a terminal window. The first time you run this, it's going to download a bunch of dependencies, including the Android SDK. This is a few gigabytes in size, so it could take a while. Pass the time with a simulating game of Osmos, powered by a portable. After the SDK finishes downloading, we need to add the portable SDK bin directory into our path. We've pasted the instructions for this right into the terminal output, so just copy that and paste it in. All right. Let's try this SDK by compiling an open source iOS game called TweeJump. You can find the link to TweeJump in the sample app section of our docs. We'll clone it from GitHub into any directory we want. All right, let's check it out on the iPhone. Looks great. But before we build it for Android, I'm going to double check that my Android device is connected by running ADB devices. It doesn't show up, which means I need to enable USB debugging. Go into the Settings menu, tap Developer Options, and tap on USB Debugging. Now it shows up, so we're ready to build the app. Type a portable load. Since this is the first time we're building this app, it's going to ask us a couple of setup questions. Are you running OpenGLES 1 or 2? TweeJump is OpenGLES 1, so I'm going to enter 1. And then, is it primarily a portrait game or a landscape game? This is a portrait game, so I'm going to type P. Then it goes ahead and compiles, and here it is running on my Nexus 7. The app is playable, but it is designed for the iPhone 3G, so it looks too small on this device. I'm going to fix this using the UI screen extensions to request a virtual screen that is the size of an iPhone 3G. To make sure this continues building on iOS, I'm going to guard this with an if-def Android. All right, now I run a portable load again. There we go. We've successfully converted our first app to Android. You can learn more about the SDK and get help at docs.aportable.com. With a bit of practice, you'll be able to convert complex apps like Osmos in a matter of minutes. We've worked really hard on the SDK and can't wait to see how it works for you. It's free to use, and we hope you join our mailing list to help us improve it. See you on Android.